Tampa. Not for a spin though. We're at our favorite spot for Wednesday night, the Mayflower Cafe. And the only reason I'm shooting this video is my buddy Mr. Ramazan has sold the Mayflower to another Turkish fella. So he told us, we told him we wanted to have one of his turkey dinners. He makes the best turkey I ever had. So, there's 18 of us having turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce. Stand by. There's low tie Tim. Underdog. And a gathering. Just one glass of Yeah. You it's a uh, Thursday, beautiful day, about one o'clock. I went thrift store shopping this morning looking for some knives. I found this nice little cabinet with three drawers on it. Four dollars and ninety-eight cent. I couldn't pass it up. I'm gonna put my scissor sharpener right up here, and I got a chair that sits right here, and I'm gonna sharpen scissors sitting down. I got a big scissor gig coming up. I don't think I told you about it. Forty, fifty, hundred pair of scissors, April the ninth, at a big quilters fair. Anyway, yesterday I picked up some big butcher knives from a kid that works in a butcher shop food line in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, which is about 50, 60 miles from here. He's got three Victor Noxes, two Schleicher type, a boner, and I thought this was a Victor Knox, but this is a Geyser, G-I-E-S-S-E-R, -S -S -E made in Germany, Rostiller. You can see it's a big old knife, but God knows they're dull. He, he didn't need them sharpen, I can tell you that. I got to buff them up some, it's a beautiful day. And I'm going to sharpen these on my Kalamazoo. Big old butcher knives. Stand by. Well, I got the uh, butcher knives finished. This was the worst one. With the worst scratches. And you can still, there's still a few there. But what few scratches are there are polished scratches now. They're almost almost all the other ones went away because that was the worst one and then the mailman I mean the UPS man just brought me a package it should be uh, two shuns with the tips broke off I think these came from a lady in New York stand by let's see make sure yep Beautiful little shuns too. The tip is bent and broke off. And the other one, that's not bad. This has got a little tip chip right at the back end of it. These are nice little knives, aren't they? They're beautiful in wooden handles. I guess that's back of wood maybe. I don't know. I read a lot about back of wood on the shuns. Whatever it is, it's really nice. I like them. Stand by. My buddy Ken Swartz, I think it's called Precise Sharpening in California. He sells lots of diamond paste, all different microns. He's got some full micron out that he claims will take all these scratches out. It's like $40 for a little jug of it. A little teeny jug, I mean. I've been talking about investing in some, but I haven't. I do have some of his 5 micron, uh, 0.25 and 4 micron and 8 micron. But I don't have any other course of stuff. But I need some. Okay. That is the living in for today. The reports from Nada. Beaver went. Denny went. Then they found a silver ring yesterday and an earring, junk earring. Uh, another buddy went yesterday and found a, a, a silver ring, but he was on the bay. 
and a couple of silver coins. So the bay is looking better than Nada. Beaver went to Nada and he had the same report as he did Tuesday and Wednesday, bleak. Okay. Well, I thought it was the end, but it's not. I've been out shopping for a lamb roast three days. I was unsuccessful again today. The truck came in today with some, but they sold it by 10 o'clock. And I didn't get that till 2 o'clock. While I was gone, a fellow called me up and said, I'm bringing you some stuff by. I said, okay. Big axe, double headed axe, a little grass weed whacker thing, some pruners, grass clippers, and three saws. Only problem is, I don't do saws. But I know a guy does. I gave him a call in the morning and see what he says. What are you doing over there, little carnivore? You hiding? You hiding from that little creature right there? You better be careful. It's Friday. Spring has sprung. Big tree is getting a lot of blossoms on it. I figured I'd, uh, I finished up the shuns. Sharpen and put a new tip on that one. I wasn't going to do any knives today, but got the nick out of that one. Then a wine and cheese shop lady called me. Stand by a minute. Said she had three knives to sharpen. She's got a big Dexter bread knife. This is a little Dexter, but I got no idea what you call it. Don't just call it a utility knife. Got a nice little rubber handle on it. Dexter. And then a great big giant 10 inch Wolstoff. This is a fancy wine store at Hilltop in Virginia Beach. Wine and cheese. Okay. That is the end of knives. We go to the fair in the morning. But if I do anything, that'll be a separate video. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody. Look at her. She said they're looking for birds. <laughs>